Trish and I are out in beautiful Mammoth Lakes, California, spending some time with her family. We're at a cabin out here and it's, uh, it's just some much needed rest and relaxation. It's been amazing so far. Trish and Mav are at the lake playing and I'm just here kind of getting my bearings and I wanted to make this video for you guys. So here's the deal. Uh, yesterday was a long travel day. It was like 10 hours to get here and stuff. I, I didn't have anything to film, so I didn't make a video for today. Uh, so this video is just going to be kind of a short talk. So it, it, it's not gonna be about guns either. If you aren't interested in that, fair warning, uh, you know, maybe just end it here, check out tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video, by the way, if everything works out, I have a really good idea for it. I hope that it's really cool. Um, but today's video is just, just kind of one-on-one -on -one here. So if you're not into that thing, that's okay. Here's a fair warning. Um, you know, I'm out here in the woods, been drinking coffee on the porch all morning. I'm in like a, in kind of a enlightened, I guess, reflecting mood, been reflecting on my life a little bit. So it's gonna get a little deep. If that's not your thing, I understand. Here we go. When I woke up this morning, I saw a video on Facebook and it really struck me what this guy was talking about and I wanted to pass this message on to you. The video that I watched was about persistence and the fear of failure, but it struck me that there's something deeper than that that I think stops a lot of people. So if you're someone who maybe wants to start a business or who wants to start a YouTube channel or is maybe looking to start a new relationship or something, most people will tell you they're not going to do those things because they're afraid of failure, right? They're afraid that they're gonna put all their money into this business and they're gonna quit their job and then they're gonna be out of a job and it's not gonna work out and lose everything. The fear of failure is what stops most people. I disagree with that. I think the fear of success is what stops people. Let me explain. We've all failed at one point in our life to some degree. Everyone has experienced some degree of failure. Because of that, we know how to respond to it. So, you know, you put all you had into this new relationship with a girl and it was going fantastic and then it failed. What do you do? You call up your buddy, you go to the bar, you have a couple drinks, you drown your sorrows, you wallow in self-pity for a week, and then you move on. We've been there. Like, we know what happens when we fail, to some degree anyways. What about when things start going really well? What about when you succeed? What about when you start a business and it takes off and you start getting a ton of demand and you have no clue how to fill these demands? You start a YouTube channel and people start watching it and sharing your videos and saying, hey, give us more, give us more, but don't give us that stuff, give us this stuff. And you start a relationship and things are going really, really, really well and then what? Then what? That's what I'm asking, then what? Then what is some of the scariest words in the world because they imply the unknown. Like I said, with failure, we know what to expect. When you succeed, when you start this business and it starts going well, now you have all these new roads and avenues that open up to you and you have to decide how to, which one to take and how to take it and how to respond to these different things that you've never experienced before. With YouTube, same thing. With a relationship, same thing. What I'm saying is this Fear of success holds you back, I think, a lot more subconsciously because what if I succeed? Then what? I know someone who, you know, I've been doing this fitness thing for a while and I talked to them and, and they were, a, they started the fitness thing and they always kind of fall off. And we had a deep conversation about it one day and we got to sort of this overall realization that it's like, if I do succeed and I get this body I've always wanted and people see, then I have to keep this body. You know, there's all these, there's all these expectations that now I need to uphold this body if I get back to where I started. I'm just another one of those people. You have all these eyes on you all of a sudden. What are you gonna do next? And that scares a lot of people. I don't know, I feel like this conversation can go on all day. I don't, I feel like I need to wrap this up somehow. I guess what I'm saying is if there's something you wanna go after, have a true heart to heart with yourself and think about, is it the fear of failure that I'm afraid of? Or is it the fear of success? Because there's nothing to be afraid of with success. If you have it in your heart, if you really want it and you really want to chase it, do it. 
and you'll figure it out because you love it, because you want to be doing it. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of succeeding. Don't be afraid of what others around you are gonna think of you or say about you. Uh, some people are gonna be envious of you and they're gonna throw hate at you. They're gonna push you away because they're seeing you succeed and they're still down here. Don't be afraid of that. That's all I've got, guys. I, like, I know this video got a little deep, it got a little intense, like I said. Uh, I feel like I can go on and on about this stuff, but I've gotta stop it at some point. That's really what I had to say today. I hope that it was enlightening. I hope that some of you out there enjoyed it. And uh, if not, that's okay. Because I'm gonna keep pushing forward with my success. I'm gonna keep chasing that success and keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, uh, regardless of, of those around me. So. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much if you did enjoy this. If it resonated with you, share it, pay it forward. I don't know what you want to do, uh, but use it. Thanks so much. Catch you tomorrow.